Hi guys, it's Carlos. Welcome back to the channel. Um, this is <laughs> this is my backyard. Yeah. Uh, so look, if you're new around here, consider subscribing because we do a lot of really cool stuff like go to different locations to do something as simple as checking microphones. Uh, so hit that subscribe button. And uh, just like that, I lost my microphone. So the element of surprise is dead, completely dead. No. <sighs> Let's get to it. But first. And welcome back. I am here in Kauai which is one of the far islands of Hawaii. And uh, one of the cool things is uh, I got flown out here because I have a client who trusts me enough to let me continue to, to work on their project. We came to Hawaii for this film that, that we're working on. Uh, and before you guys go freaking out uh, about COVID and everything, what happened is uh, we went through and we followed all of the rules that Hawaii has as far as coming here uh, to visit for work for everything. And uh, what that looked like was uh, I had to take a COVID test. It had to be negative. And then when you get to the Hawaii airport, um, what you do is you go through and everyone checks all your paperwork and everything. And they have the National Guard there and they're it's it's a really secure thing good news is one i'm covid free two i'm in hawaii shooting an amazing video and so i was out here scoping out uh, where we were going to shoot this video it's a whole educational thing we were looking for a place to this kind of dramatic you know what i mean and this is pretty dramatic but uh, i'm not convinced that this is going to be it I am convinced that this is where I'm gonna do this video though. While I was testing out the different microphones, uh, I remembered that Moment has this new functionality in the Moment app. Uh, and I'm using a Moment lens right now and I'm using a Gobi ND filter. Uh, I was gonna take it out, but my, my ND filters are in here. So I'm using this ND filter, variable ND filter at that. Uh, because I'm shooting, the sun is right there, and I'm shooting into probably a lot of glare. So you use this to bring everything. Just tone it down, the whole sunglasses thing. So that's what I'm using this for, and that's why I started using the Moment app, because it's pretty legit. Uh, and then there's this little section in the settings where you can use a Bluetooth microphone. I just happen to have a couple sets. The one that I'm using now is not really a Bluetooth. It's the Rode VideoMic Go. And so it's more of a radio transmission. Um, and I'm using this lapel mic because it's super windy. And I have this dead cat on here. Uh, so I'm doing all of my testing and all the... Because what I want is for the client to just relax. I have absolutely everything on this side of the presentation handled. She's actually studying right now. Um, I just finished having a meeting with her and letting her know like, this is what we're doing. This is how we're gonna do it. Don't worry about it. I got in. She was worried about like batteries and stuff, which is fine. You have some folks that just need all of their questions answered and you just calmly be like, yeah, I got it. I got, I got, I mean, a GoPro, my GoPro, I have like six batteries. So I think we're gonna be fine. My tripod is over there. I'm shooting with the Moment lenses. I have all the rest of my Moment lenses here. I even have my drone, but <laughs> I was alerted that the drone was probably a little too much. I'm still gonna shoot though, because while I'm here, I might as well get some Artist Alfresco stuff. And if you haven't checked out Artist Alfresco videos, I'm gonna leave a link there to the playlist. Go ahead and check those out. And let me know what you think. Okay, and with all that being said, uh, I wanted to try the AirPods Pro with this. And this is a really good example of the audio that is coming from, uh, like I said, this lapel mic. I have the transmitter here clipped to my pocket. 
and I have the receiver attached to the uh, tripod over there. But I wanted to see if these AirPods Pro would be sufficient for maybe like a backup. Uh, you just never know what happens with equipment, so it's really nice to, um, to have backups. Uh, and sometimes we just have to get creative because I don't know about you, but I work for a living. So I can't just be throwing away, you know, a, a couple hundred bucks for, for a couple few road mic goes, right? And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch from the road. And it's nice because the, the weather, or not the weather, but the wind is coming in pretty heavy. Hopefully this wind isn't ruining the audio all that bad but I am using this lapel mic. One thing that we can do, take this out and pull out the dead cat that goes on top of the road. And I'm sorry if this makes a loud noise, but let's see. Hopefully this is still going. I think it is. But anyway, this is the other way that you can use the road mic goes. You can have this lapel mic that's kind of pretty much almost, almost out of sight. But then you have this guy is going directly into the transmitter. Is there a difference? I don't know. Next step is going to be, I'm gonna go ahead and switch this back out because I don't like this big thing hanging off my shirt. And the dead cat took away. I guess the dead cat is not as dead as I thought it was. So now what I'm gonna do is switch over to these. Okay, so now I have the headphones on have the AirPods Pro connected to the phone. I'm not 100% sure what this is gonna sound like. I can see where there might be a problem because there's no real protection from the wind on the microphones. Hopefully, if this sounds halfway decent, it's a really clever way to, uh, to have a backup of the audio that you're recording using the moment. And now we're back in the room, so I wanted to take a couple seconds to test the AirPods Pro and give them a high quality test. So, what do you think? Does it sound good? I'm gonna run back outside, and run back inside. Any difference? Any difference at all? And I went back and I put the Rode mic goes on just because the audio was a little bit better and I tested a distance test and it was it didn't get any better. Now that's the cool thing about using these road mic goes is the distances what did they say like two football fields 200 yards. So everything said and done out the door uh, I think this is the better setup. The AirPods Pro, I'm going to try them inside just to see, but for the most part, I think um, I think they're fine if, uh, if you're in a pinch, but if it's windy, it might not be worth it. But the cool thing is that you can obviously use them as AirPods Pro, and thanks to the Moment app, you can then use them as a microphone. So now it's time to pack up, and just in case you guys thought I wasn't being safe, I got my mask. Thank you, Adobe Max, for my mask. I also have my N95 masks. I have my Wet Ones disinfectants. I have my Sono disinfecting wipes. I have some more. <laughs> I have some more instant sanitizing wipes. I'm telling you. I am being as absolutely careful as I can possibly be because us, we got a lot of learning to do. We got a lot of traveling to do. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you know anyone that is trying to get into video, filmmaking, animation, even graphic design, you'll see me do some graphic design on this channel from time to time. Go ahead and send this video on over to them. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you notice, there's a little bell right next to that subscribe button. Click that so every time I come out with a new video, you'll be alerted. All right, guys. See you when I get home. Unless I make another video, and then I'll see you on Kauai. All right. See you later.